Hey, my name is Chris, and I'm going to be talking about how I got these car sounds into Unreal Engine using only meta sounds and blueprints. The first thing to do here was to create a blueprint for the engine audio and another blueprint for the wheel audio. The next step was to go into our sports car pawn and create a function which spawns that blueprint engine audio, which is called at our event begin play. The same thing happens with our wheel audio. In our engine audio meta sound, there are a couple things happening, but we'll start off with the exhaust. In our engine behavior graph, we have a few things to simulate onloading and offloading. We have a couple filters to simulate offloading the throttle. And with throttle on, we have a couple of wave shapers to help us saturate the engine loop sounds. These are both controlled by this parameter throttle, which crossfades between the two. In our engine RPM loops graph, we're pitching and crossfading between several exhaust engine samples to get smooth acceleration and deceleration. So I wanted to get a little bit more bottom end out of the car idle, so I went into Serum, generated a sub sine wave, sampled it back into the noise input, and pitched and added an LFO to the cutoff, added some distortion, and got this. I then blended that with the sample of the car idle. I wanted to get a live reading of the RPMs to match the audio, so instead of printing strings, I added a section to the UI widget, and added an event to update the RPM variables on screen, then went to the vehicle player controller blueprint, where I input those values. I also had to double down on being an American and check this miles per hour boolean because I am not familiar with kilometers. Back in our engine audio meta sound, we have some exhaust offload samples, which are in a random array. These are triggered by a check throttle function created back in our pawn blueprint, where we're checking the throttle with two float variables. They're then sent through another check, which then call a delegate event back in our engine audio blueprint. These are then binded to a custom event, which then execute those triggers. Back in our pun blueprint, we spawn the wheel audio blueprint in a similar fashion to the engine audio blueprint, only this time we're spawning one blueprint per wheel. I've created emitters, which are lines to each wheel. These are then dragged into our function, where we get our relative transform, make an array, which then syncs to a position for each wheel that then outputs a blueprint audio object that is then attached to our pawn. I've created another function that detects when the wheels skid, which is set by a timer rather than event tick to save on performance. This function first checks if the car is moving, that all the wheels are not in the air, checks to see if there's any skidding or slipping, checks if it is emitting nothing, in which case, it'll spawn these drift marks I created in Niagara, which are then attached to each of these emitters I created in the viewport. We then run another surface type check to see if it returns true on road, in which case it'll set the drift mark opacity and call a delegate to set the skid audio gain in pitch. This delegate is binded to a custom event back in our wheel audio blueprint where the skid gain and pitch values are set. Both sounds for wheels on dirt and asphalt are using this metasound graph as a preset. In this graph, we have a skid loop which is grabbing from a random start time on that loop, similar to how a YSeq event works. We have variable inputs for pitch and gain. This goes into our mixer along with a rolling loop that goes into another graph of cross-faded loops based on speed. I've created a blueprint data asset which has a function that takes the surface type from the physical material and finds the appropriate values to line up with using an e-physical surface type variable. 
This then sets the surface sounds according to their physical material that is being line traced in a function in our wheel blueprint. This false value returns bump to save me a few steps in setting the physical material for the track spline edge and other bumps around the map. I was able to return two physical material returns in the one static mesh track by changing the collision settings. In our wheel audio blueprints, we have another function on our event tick that checks if the car is moving with an absolute value to account for negative values when reversing, it checks the surface material with the line trace for each tire, which then calls the function in our surface data blueprint. Our surface sound data variable carries the data that matches the metasound to material. This then goes through a check for a difference in new and last surface types, checks for a bump in surface type, which then swaps out the old sound for a new sound, or plays a bump. To get the wheel dirt loops to sound smoother at slow speeds, I created another function in our wheel audio blueprint, which has a clamped value to allow for a more precise change in sound. I've also created attenuations for the wheels and exhaust sounds, which give a sense of spatialization and respond to reverb volumes. I created this reverb volume to simulate going through a tunnel. We might normally see a larger reverb volume in the wrapper around the level, but for our purposes in demonstrating audio inside and outside of the tunnel, this will be fine. I hope this video gives you a sense of my skills working in audio and Unreal Engine, and hopefully sparks some ideas for your own projects. Stay tuned for updates on this and other projects I'm working on. Thanks for watching.